Hey everybody, this is Tanya with Riley and Company again. It is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020, and you know what that means. Tuesdays with Tanya at 2. You may notice this is a little bit different this time. Normally I try to go live, but we have encountered some serious internet issues where I live. We're out in the country. So we decided to do videos and now every Tuesday at 2, we will be posting a new video instead of trying to go live. That way it won't cause as much chaos in your life or mine. A um, couple things before I get started with our super fun little conversation today. I wanted to remind you guys that we have a couple show specials since we can't go to the shows this summer. Uh, so far, we're just going to go ahead and have show specials. So normally it shows uh, you would buy any six funny bone stamps and you get a free one and there's no limit. So if you buy 12, you get two free. And if you buy 18, you get three free. And that's all I'm going to do with math. So you just go to our website, pick out, buy the number of stamps that you want, and your freebies need to be listed in the comments. This is good until May 15th. So you only have three more days to get in on this. The other special is our Mushroom Lane giveaway. Any Mushroom Lane purchase, that includes our large gnomes. And you get a free piece mini gnome stamp completely free. We'll just throw it on. You don't even need to worry about it, okay? Don't add it onto your order and pay for it because then I have to go refund it. But um, don't forget to take advantage of these two specials in the next couple days. Now, without further ado today, I want to talk to you guys about one of my favorite lines that we have that's near and dear to my heart. It's called Dress Up Riley. And this is him. So the best way that I can explain this to you is think back when we were younger, we had paper dolls, right? So this is a paper mousse, super easy. So here are the dies that go with him. This is the starter set. You always start with the two and they are two different mousse. And I will show you, we have this little guy, one with his leg kicked out and one with him standing. And that's the basic mousse set. Okay, dress up Riley basic set and it's matching dies. Now what's really fun is we have also introduced cows, dress up cows. So we have the basic cow sets, one with him standing or one with him kicking his legs. And I love the cows because you can change out the colors. You can make brown cows and white cows my grandparents used to tell me, what kind of milk do you get out of a white cow? <laughs> white milk. What kind of milk do you get out of a brown cow? Chocolate milk. Uh-huh, exactly. In the dye set for the cows, you'll notice these two little critters right here. Those are their eyeballs. So you can pop them up. Is that hilarious or what? And all it does is you just take them out. I'll show you. Let me move this other way. You can take them out here. Take off a little backer. And just pop them right on there. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so there are our four little guys. And a little sneak. If you watch this video, a little sneak. We have yet another little animal that's going to be part of the dress-up series. And it's a surprise, but it's coming out in a couple months. And we will have a naming contest for him. We had a naming contest for the cows. And this is... Bessie and I forgot the guy's name. Bessie the cow and Bart. I don't remember. It's on the website. So now that we have the basics, these are the these are the little animals that we can dress up. All right. So all of these are your basics. So you're going to want to stamp a bunch of them, cut them out, color them, and you'll be ready to go. Then we have the accessory sets like this. Every accessory set has a complete set of matching dies to go with it. So this is one of the very first sets we ever set out to make was the Valentine St. Patrick's. We have one before that that has hats in it. And the hats go with everything. It's, it's a hoot. So this one, for example, and I've got several sets here. And I'm just going to show you cards with the sets that I have. And just talk to you a little bit about them. Um, 
This is the Valentine St. Patrick's set, and you'll notice that it has dark beer, which can also be a red solo cup, and this little tiny beer mug, and this is what everybody loves. I sell tons of this set simply for the beer mug. And so here's some of the cards you can make out of them. See? He holds a little beer mug, and happy hour is that way. So you don't always have to use everything that's in the set, okay? This is from the fall set. All right, I'm going to be showing you a lot of cards today. So the really fun thing is, is you can just hit pause if you want to make the card and then continue on to another card that you want to make. And you can also hit pause and then make that card too. So here's the Friday the 13th. They go fantastic with our funny bones. That's why we did it. Again, here's that beer mug. Okay, a cow in a kilt. I am not kidding you. A cow in a kilt with a green beer. It doesn't get any better than that. Here's another one. Here's his little hat and his red solo cup. There you go. Another St. Patrick's one. And most of these sets have elements that fit Riley's buddies. Tucker and Bert the Smiling Cat. Now they all won't, of course, because their necks are smaller, but we trimmed this little kilt down fit Tucker perfectly. And this is in one of our kits actually that we sell online. So that is the Valentine set. Okay. The next set that we have that I want to show you is our birthday set. This is another crazy, crazy fun set that you can do anything with. It's got a whole set of numbers, little things. You don't have to put it on a moose and you don't have to put it on a cow. You can use a lot of these except for the suit individually. Here's Riley, all dressed up. Isn't that fun? Here's the cow, all dressed up. A cow clown. And there's another one. One of my designers, Michelle, she makes these um, little coasters and puts holes in them. And then I hook them together and I make banners for my show. So that's what those are, if you guys see them. Another set that we have is the spring sets. And this is, again, another set that you can use. You don't have to use it with Riley the Moose. You can use it with anything. Puddle of water, grasses, ducks, sun, clouds, everything. little welcome spring. But it is awfully cute to have a cow and a rain slicker jumping in a puddle. There's another car. Awesome. And there you go. Cow and uh, moose stepping in a puddle of water. Shenanigator. The little baby frog. He's even in the set. Okay, right there. Okay, next set is a set that is so insanely popular and so versatile. It is a farmer set. And I learned after I made this that a green tractor... Oh, I'm going to get slammed if I don't get that. I think it's John Deere. And a red one is Alice Chalmers. I could be wrong, but you can correct me. Um... The hats and all the clothing. There you go. There's that famous painting, but with cows. Cow on a tractor with hay in his mouth. Little inchworm. And there you go. That was me this weekend. Seriously. Exhausted. There you go. Some little spring flowers there with her little gown. I think the fence is from the fall set. Mixing and matching these sets when you have several is so much fun. In the event of a tornado, put some wieners in your pockets. That way the search dogs will find you first. Look, little baby wieners from the summer fun set. I love this. And it's true. Right? I mean, one would think. Anyway, and this is hilarious. Diet tip. Your pants won't get too tight if you don't wear any. <laughs> anyway. You guys probably wonder why I do this. It's just to amuse myself, really. This is another fun set. It's our little love bus. Okay, so this has your flowers and your sunglasses and your little love signs. So you can seriously have a little love cow. You can crystal lacquer his glasses. You don't have to use the bus in one card. You can put it halfway. You can even cut out the front window and pop Riley or the cow out of it. This is so cute. And there's Sophie popped out, a little hat. 
This next card is crazy. It's turned into a wagon for Santa and it uses one of our winter dress up sets. Our brand new Christmas winter dress up set driving to the North Pole. Here comes Amazon. Here comes Amazon right down my driveway. Moving on. We have a really fun professional set. Okay. It has a policeman, a fireman, a baker, a chef, construction worker, and a policeman. I already said policeman. Anyway, I'll show you. There we go. A fireman. Here's a little police cow. A bovine. Benny and Bessie bovine. See, it just came to me. Benny and Bessie bovine. A little construction worker, which is hilarious. Use your map as a background. Look, a little pastry chef. How do I like my eggs in a cake? Duh. All right, moving along. This winter set that I have was our very first winter set, and it's extremely versatile. It's got the little shirt in it that you can use all the time, but this little thing right here, can you guys see that? This little skirt. Yes, it's a little skating skirt to go with her little skates, but it can be used for so much more. So here is a little dressed up moose. I think this is from our Christmas two set with his little coffee. This is from Christmas one. It even has the snowballs from the set in it. It's really fun. If you stamp the shirts on a, on a specific part of paper, you can get an ugly Christmas sweater. But you can also use this as a dress for Sophie anytime. These are from the Valentine's St. Patrick's sets. And there you go, that's her in her whole skate outfit with her little Coco that's in the set as well. Moving along, we have a fisherman set for the man cards in your life. A cow fishing. He's even got a can of worms and his little vest and a little fish on a hook. You can dress him up and stick him in a boat, coffeeology. Here's another one that's got, you can do so much with this stuff, pelicans everywhere. And this is so me if I'd start my swear jar earlier. And then, of course, you don't even need to put it in a boat. You just use his hat and his little fish. Okay, this next one is a huge hit at conventions because it's very hard to find motorcycle anything. And if you ride like we do, it's really hard to find. So this, Riley has his own motorcycle. <laughs> has his own chaps, a little sign that looks really familiar, a vest, a couple words, a black leather jacket, a helmet, even some flames that you can put on the bike. And this is what some people did. You don't even need to use the moose, but this is a great card for any rider, any rider with a map in the background. There's Riley all dressed up. I don't know if you can see the saying. I hate being sexy, but I'm a biker, so I can't help it. With his little vest. Here's another one with his little leather jacket and a shiny helmet. There's one with a bandana and his chaps on. You have to color in the bottom or he's naked running around with chaps on, which could be funny in itself. And there's another one. Okay, and we have all these little different symbols. There's a t-shirt here, but there's all these little different symbols that you can put on his t-shirt. The next set is our summer sports set. It comes with horseshoes and scuba and golf and volleyball, soccer, baseball, fishing, um, let's see, tennis, baseball, and summer or sports for the water. So there you go. This was done by literally, she sewed that in. There you go. Whoops, this hat's in the clouds. Whoopsie. There you go. A little baseball. That'd be great for a little kid's card, a little birthday card. Here's golf. Okay. And this set, this set sells out every convention. Um, I don't even have a card to show you with it on it. But I do have this one with his little vest and this 
in his little marshmallows and his s'more. Okay, this camper is fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. It's even got its little banners and it's got a light with it. All my samples are in the convention boxes. This is our summer fun set. Okay, this is flowers and barbecue in 4th of July. We'll kiss the cook, see the wiener. Uh-huh, it goes in the pockets with the tornado thing. And there's a little flower one too. I love this little flower pot. It's so versatile. And this little watering can. Okay, and we are getting into the fall now. Halloween, one of my absolute favorite, favorite holidays ever. We have two sets for Halloween. We have Halloween 1 and Halloween 2. Halloween 1 has a little pumpkin suit and the ghost and the pirate and a couple shirts and a vampire and a cat woman. The second set has a little dragon and a flying dragon, some bats, a tombstone. This is hilarious. It's just two little vampire teeth. And see, they're right there. And his cape. And it's fun to, to make the cape out of like a soft, velvety material. There she is. My little cat woman with a cape. That is from the winter set, of course. These are from this set. And everybody always asks, what is that dye? It is our corner goo dye. <laughs> a cow pirate. This little bird. There he is dressed up. There's the goo again. With alcohol links. Here we go again. Riley dressed up. This time, these are all popped up. See how you can do that? And remember I told you that they fit some of Riley's friends as well. This is Bert. And you can always put the hats on Bert's. You can use the accessories with Bert. They wrap right around his tail. And of course, I have a hair on here, which is crazy. This is out of the new one. It's a witch's outfit from the new Halloween set. This quite possibly is my favorite set of the whole entire thing. I don't know why. I think it's because I like fall. And this corn stalk is so insanely versatile. I love this little fence. I love this little sign. I love his little shoes. This You can put stuff in there or you can write your own in. The first card I showed you said happy hour. But these are a set of the dies that I wanted to show you. They all come like this. Okay, now I'm going to give you a really great hint about these dies. Do not cut out any of them except what's in the center of other dies, okay? That way they're all together. And if you grab all your scraps that you have, you can lay these on top of your scraps and run them through. I keep mine in little baggies, my stamps and dies, and all the extra pieces that I've cut out. So that way when I wanna make a card, I just grab my pieces, color match them, come in and use the stamps on top, and I don't have to die cut and stamp all at the same time. Now here's some of the cards. Isn't that fun? This was in one of our card kits. I literally layered it and layered it. And this is the little fence. And this is popped up. This little scarecrow. Happy fall, y'all. I'm going to say this to last. Here's another one that you don't even have to use Riley with. And this is for my fellow Kansans. Look at that yellow brick road. It says pumpkin patch. I think I'd probably write um, Emerald City or something like that. Or Kansas. You could write anything you want on there. This is incredible. This matches, or this includes, I'm sorry, my other company that I own with Karen Berniston are pop-up dice. Is this incredible? This is perfect for a pumpkin patch. The die that we use on this is the House and Fence die by Karen Berniston. Dot com. And finally, we get to Christmas. And these are our last two sets. These are our Christmas sets that we have. And of course, they're so much fun to mix and match. Sorry, did I make it dizzy? Our first set, of course, was Santa and Mrs. Claus and a little elf. So there's this elf outfit and some accessories. The next one was the workshop and the North Pole and his jammies in a bag. So those are in the winter sets. Um, 
you don't have to use Riley to make Christmas cards with it. This was in a kit last year. You can dress Riley up as an elf and use the lights up above as a little accessory. I'm going to save this one to last because this is my favorite card I ever got from Angie. From anyone, but it's made by Angie. So again, great Christmas card. It's all fun and games till your pants don't fit. Again, you can use them with the different friends that Riley has. I just trimmed down the bells and put them on him. This is from the first set in the Elf Antlers. I can get you on the naughty list. Bert, of course, right? Here's a Santa one from the first set, but the bags and stuff from the second set. Again, just used these lights there. I wanted to show you a couple of these. These are a couple different ways that you can color the workshop. Of course, the workshop can be any color you want it to be. But doesn't it cut out beautifully and it puts on here? And it, yeah. And then there he is in his jammies. Isn't that adorable? Okay. I'm going to leave you today with a reminder about our sale that's going on. Don't forget, every six... Oh, I'm going to show you how can, you can do these up real quick, and then I'll tell you. So let's take Riley, okay, and our zip dry. And this is as easy as this is, if my zip dry is going to pay attention. I've already stamped this and colored it. This is how it works. Someone actually made a set one time out of... He put his, he's got little high waisters on. If you, if you want to make him taller, you can put his boots on and slide his pants down. But this, this time he's just going to be a little sexy dude with a bandana on, a little hat. Let's see. Yeah, about like that. And then we're going to bring the other one in and we're going to make this a little Sophie with the little outfit. Okay. And actually, I'm just going to do that on here. And of course, we're using Zip Dry, my favorite glue in the world. I think I've told you guys about it. It's on our website. Another thing for those of you that wonder what colors I use to color Riley, E33, E35, and E47 Copics. We have them on our website now for you to purchase as well. And we just finish it off by giving her a little garden hat. And there you go. That's as easy as it was to make two little dress-up Rileys. You can put these on cards. You can put them in your scrapbooks. You can do all kinds of things with them. Now, to show you my favorite card ever, uh, my girlfriend Angie Puente made this for me. This is dress-up Riley in his Santa suits. And then you open it up. And it's a Karen Berniston die, the sleigh that pops up. It's got Tucker. And within all of this is Santa and Tucker dressed up in the winter Riley. Look at that pop-up card. Is that crazy? Love it. All right, don't forget about our specials, everyone. Buy six. Get the seventh one free. Remember, you have to put it in the comments. And let us know which one you want. And the mushroom line, buy one. You get the little mini gnome set free. Have a fabulous day. And don't forget to head out to Riley and make your sale purchases. Take care. Thanks for watching.